happy new year to everyone and i hope this 2022 will be better than the previous one and i hope you will be safe safe uh, okay and sorry for the videos coming late uh it's been like thing almost one month no tutorials so i actually i was busy in the blender playing with blenders and actually i doing my old renders renders in blender so that's why i'm busy with blender i also created the intro in the blender so tell me how's the intro and if you have any suggestion about the intro or anything else related to this you can tell me the comment section on my discord too basically i think in this already too i gave a new look to the channel so if you have any suggestion you can give me i really appreciate this and actually i have no idea about anything any intro stuff actually so i need your help to this so let's move to the point here and we're getting a ai patrolling system in unity so first thing you need to set up your patrolling bat uh set up your ai you can either use a stock or nemesis agent i'm going to show the uh, here i'm going to use nemesis agent but i think the position will be same for the a stock by finding all the set decision part or getting the meaning of distance is different maybe or uh, most of the thing will be same i think so uh, if you look here, I have a sample project. Uh, I set up the agent, and I, if you look here, I have some few squares laying around the plane. And so this empty game, this points are uh, square stops is the empty game object. Okay, so I empty game object. So this empty game object is going to act as a patrolling point. Okay, patrolling points. So and I group them into a uh, one game object, empty game object, uh, name pattern. So I group them to because uh, it's look pretty organized okay? if you have one in something one object so it's easy to drag and drop anywhere on the map okay. so we if, so you have to first set up a patrolling points and you never use it for doing anything good so let's go to the script you can either add a new script or add the old script so first thing you need to add a unity engine.ai because nemesis agent come under the unity engine.ai part so okay then we need to get the access for the nemesis agent so for getting we can create a variable uh, nemesis agent and variables okay then we need to store all the points uh, patrolling points so we're going to create a list now you can also create array but here i think list creating a better options because lists are dynamic in nature and we need if you wanted to add or remove the points in the runtime so this is great with so here i'm going to create list so we list and transform point give as a parameter okay my uh i don't know this is not working uh list uh, transform points and here we are uh, given name patrolling points then create equal to the new list we're going to create a new list okay this is the so list transform okay like this okay uh, and next thing we need to create a transform now we have list but we need to also need to add a point so and you know we group them into the uh, game object so first we need to access that game object and then we're going to access child okay so public transform patrolling pattern is going to be accessed next uh, we need to have a also a bool so checking the weather is patrol or true okay and then uh, we need some two floats or uh, three floats sorry two out of two is going to uh public okay so this is a mean and max time for the next petrol because i want them to have a random intervals okay so mean and max for the next intervals and next time to patrol this is going to private okay then in voice startup functions we need to have number agents so we need to have uh, a number in the uh, currently null so we need to fill this so we're going to fill this by using get component number agents and then we're going to use a for loop for the filling the list list is currently empty so we need to fill it so for uh for loop and equal to i uh, structure will say and then as a length you can give patrolling pattern this pattern okay and child count so this is going to return number of the childs are in the game objects okay and increment the value in the meantime we also need to patrolling points dot add this patrolling points we're going to access that list dot add so add going to add make going to add some elements so makes sense so we're going to patrolling point pattern patrolling point transform dot transform from this we're going to access is child so for accessing child we're going to use dot get child and give the index that 
of that child that we want to access. Here we say I want to access all the child and we have the loop. So we are going to give it i as well. Because i always increment as 0, 1, 2, 3. So I like this i is going to fill all the patrolling points. Now if you get a petrol, we need to create a custom function, white patrolling and call this function in the white update it's pretty important if you, if you don't call it's not going to work in white update we're going to uh, creating a random dot range and giving as a parameter 0 comma petrol points to count this petrol point is going to return the max number of the elements in the list now i'm creating this uh, getting a random number because uh, i wanted to set uh, set it as initial randomly uh, the patrolling the AI that going to patrol is going to be random. Okay, I don't want to do patrolling on the fixed path. So just random patrol pairs. And so we're going to store that random number into the in type. Then we need to check whether the player is ready for the next patrol or not. Just by like checking whether it is doing a patrol right now or not. This is pretty easy to check. We're going to get the name message and dot remain distance. Remain distance give the left list uh, remain distance that is from the set destination okay so if is uh, or so you can see that how closer the, the is the des, uh, destination so if the test need not get the zero number here makes you you give a small number 0 0.2 f is a small number don't give the zero i think 0 0.2 is a better value than the giving a zero so that if uh, if the name is distance the main distance is less than the 0 0.2 and next time to patrol is less than zero when we make, uh, we're going to make, so is patrol going to fall? I mean, he's raising the destination, we, he's not doing the patrol right now, okay? And if not reaching, he's going to do the patrol. So, else is patrol true, okay? Then, we, and time for the um, main patrolling part, okay? So, we need to first check, is the AI doing the patrolling or not? If he's not doing the patrolling, we need to make sure he do patrol, okay? So, First, we need to check whether the is ready for the next time of patrol or not. Okay, so if the next time to patrol is just in zero or equal to zero, we're going to new set and new destinations. Okay, by time decision dot set destination. Okay, as a parameter, we're going to give a patrolling point, uh, patrol by the list, and going to access a random, a random i. So this i, so I give an index i dot position so we're going to give a random position okay patrolling point dot position we're going to access random element from the index okay so here the simple let us say set destination patrolling points in the square vector we're going to give a, a random integers this is a point of position this is going to access a random position of okay just accessing a random value in the element and then, then he's doing the patrol and we also know that uh, next time to patrol is zero so next time to patrol is zero so we need to set a new next time to patrol okay so for this next time to patrol going to be equal to the random dot range as as i said i need random values for the intervals so random dot range we give a minimum time and max time okay and the value that he returns is going to be like 3.2 or 3.3 .3 or like four, it's going to return the value in the floors. Okay, so we make sure to round off this value. So by you round off, we use, we're going to wrap all the random reach into the math of dot round. Okay, and then he's going to return some round value, like three point two going to round off to three or three point six going to round to four. That's it. Now in else conditions, we need if now else condition call when is next time the patrol is bigger than zero. So we need to be subtract this by the time dot delta time. Okay. And in else condition now, this part is ended. And now, if it's not doing a patrol, and uh, like is patrol is true, sorry, is, is mean is doing a patrol. Is patrol is true? This value going to return the false. Okay, this exclamation will stand for the false. Uh, if the condition is false, then it's going to shoot this part. And if the condition is true, then this part. And this part just we again do the same thing. We're going to subtract the next time to patrol. And that's it. You know, you don't need to do anything else. And now, time to go back in the Unity and see this in action. So, first thing you need to give uh, drag and drop your pattern into the patrolling pattern and give some minimum time. For here, I give three as a max seven. It means three to six. Okay. Let's set a debug mode and see the list also. And we have a list here. This is empty. Okay. Let's play and check observe the list. Okay. 
as soon as I play, uh, list fill all all the points of the field. Okay, and we got navigated. Now if you observe the cylinder, he is going to the random points, stop for some points, and is reach the next point, stop for there some points, and go some random points. So he is going to the random points. Let's see. Okay, he is going to reach. Okay. So our patrolling now. Uh, this cylinder is doing uh, some kind of patrol. It's not. Lo it does not look like doing patrolling, but it's doing. Okay, and let's. Okay, what if we have multiple agents? Let's uh, duplicate this. Okay, it's just plus. Oh, I forgot the keys. Okay, okay. Control plus D is going to get one more agents here, and let's copy this pattern too. Here, okay. Now you both need to go see. Uh, let's give this agent. Uh, drag and drop this pattern to this patrol pattern. You need to give every agent has his own patrol pattern. Okay, make sure you can create a bunch of patterns like square, diagonals, anything. Okay, we this time let's give minimum time four or uh, uh, five and max time ten. It's five to nine. Okay, so let's see them. Okay, let's go to this and see the both are both them. Both them are doing the patrolling in the random direction. So you stop for some time. Okay, he's doing the next patrol, and he's also doing some next patrol. So it looks like uh, I it does not look like they are doing patrol. Just moving randomly, but they are doing a patrol. It looks like patrol. If you have game something, if I show you in the real example with the same script, uh, just go to the here. Let's save this here, and if I go to the same script, like look here. Okay, and if I'm going to play this, I'm going to look in your real example. Scripts are same, does not change. Okay, let's do the scene and look. These three guys are four guys are AI. You can look here. They are going to do some patrol. Okay, you can look. They are doing some patrols. As I say, so it has not looked like in that sense to be patrol, but if you plug into your in real game, it's going to look okay. As I look here, they are the same script I'm using, okay. No modifications, but just they have a little extra here like FOV or shooting stops, but all the things are same. I copy paste the script from here too. So, and that's my game, small game I'm working on. So that's it again happy new year to everyone and also merry christmas i was i'm late and no parcel happy merry christmas to everyone and thanks for watching and if you like this video hit the like button you can subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any updates i'm thinking of creating a new video on the fo fov part and ai fov parts so if you don't want it to miss that thing no one to miss that video you can subscribe my channel Thanks for um bye have a nice day stay safe